Well, there is a warming trend taking shape in the waters along North America's west coast, and it's raising big red flags with climate experts. From Baja, California to Vancouver Island, scientists believe a massive concentration of warmer-than-usual water off the Pacific coast has the potential to seriously impact the ocean's ecosystem. Your CTV's Vancouver Bureau Chief, Melanie Nagy. The waters along the west coast are warmer than they've been in decades. So this warm water is now hugging the coast of North America. Richard Dewey runs BC's Ocean Observation Network, and for months now, he's been tracking something he calls the warm blob. So this is why we call it a warm blob. It's the warmest, biggest pool of water we have ever seen in the Gulf of Alaska. That plume of surface water is about three degrees warmer than average temperatures, and it has scientists seriously concerned. It is a significant event. Uh, it will have an impact. Researchers say the persistent warm water is impacting ocean oxygen levels, acidity, and marine species. You're reducing the amount of nutrients that get to the surface layer, and that's where biological activity occurs. Starving young sea lions are now washing ashore along the U.S. west coast. They're stranding at a rate 20 times greater than normal. Experts suspect unusually warm water is to blame. Martin Helena heads a team of veterinarians assisting with rescue efforts. He says the warm water appears to be driving away much of the sea lion's food. Organisms right at your very basic levels of the food chain are what starts to die off and that moves up the food chain. And it's not just sea lions. In January, Cassin's auklet showed up dead along Vancouver Island and Washington State. And the birds that, got, that died, they tended to be young and they tended to be in starving condition. There's also fears the warm water might harm B.C. salmon, and the cause of the so-called warm blob is not yet fully known. But the longer it lingers, the greater potential it has to affect ocean life all along the North Pacific. Melanie Nagy, CTV News, Vancouver.